Devos, it's your girl. So today's video is going to be a massive Bath and Body Works semi-annual sale haul. You guys have seen, or hopefully you guys have seen, quite a few of my videos for Bath and Body Works. You know what I'm saying? I love them. I only go though twice a year because I'm super cheap. So this year I did kind of go like overboard. That's why I'm saying it's massive because I got gift cards upon gift cards, so I'm saying if you get gift cards, you're best to spend them. The coupons that you get in the mail, also the ones that you get in your email, you know, they're valid. You use them, you take them to the store, you have like a bunch of stuff, you separate the order, $10 off up to $40 purchase, you know, you have like five purchases, you just keep using the coupon over so you save 50 bucks, I'm just saying. Plus, in Arizona, there are outlets out here for Bath and Body Works so the only thing about the outlets though is this they don't participate in a semi-annual sale but they always have their own thing going on plus they don't participate in any online coupons but they always got their own thing going on so um, I have found a lot of cool things at the outlets in the past out here like big candle votive holders and even lotions and stuff that are like 90% off that are like not even discontinued but they're not making that like style you know what I'm saying that particular look anymore so they have them at 90% off so I did get some things from there I went to three different Bath and Body Works one white barn and one this like I said is gonna be really hard but I'm long but I'm gonna really try to speed through this and get through it so first thing we're gonna start off with is the candle holders they were so pretty and they were half off um, this one here is the snowflake one which is so gorgeous it does have like glitter and faux diamonds on it and it's just Christmas and winter scenery light this now, would be gorgeous especially if you have like a dining area or a living room area that's like glass and like very glamorous or a room that's very glamorous and glass and I think these will look really nice with them so the original price was $15.50 so half off of that and I feel like this you always have to have two of each candle holder that's just with any candle holder for me I think like you always need a set I also did get these right here which are also a silver tone. They kind of remind me of like weeds or leaves. These were also half off. They were $12.50. So these were even less, um, they were even cheaper than the glitzier snowflake ones. But these are also a little bit taller. I love the fact that they fit properly with all of your candles. But this one is like a basic one, kind of like universal. You can put these in any living room. My living room is gold and silver so I'm not really sure where I'm going to sit these but I do like them a lot they're very pretty and they were kind of like limited on certain candle holders so I got what I can get these right here are definitely my favorites and I will put these in my dining room which is very kind of like glitzy it's a little bit sparkly in my dining room um, which consists of the colors of teal but also a silver color and it's very glitzy um, the deco decor on my dining room table is very like glittery like this also which is a teal and a white or silverish and a blue and these were $18.50 original price so yeah I like these a lot they're very they're very low rise um, so you can see the candle more so for this particular setting I would definitely put either like a white candle or like a teal color blue just because you can see a lot of it and then another favorite of mine which are these right here this is the gold finish these are the only gold finish ones that I can find as a set there were others that weren't a set I can only find like one I'm like all about I have to have two of each this one is 1850 I like this one a lot because it's a forest kind of like scenery it has a deer it has um, flowers on it birds and just a baby a baby deer really pretty um, the one thing that I'm very um, concerned about is do these tarnish um, do they change in color if you guys have ever purchased any like this please let me know okay so in this bag right here this is filled with water wallflowers this is the very first time that I've ever even purchased these back in the days I used to get their oils which you can put in the tea light things and they would burn they've been stopped selling those so I just went on to sh just the candles but my friend Shay kept telling me about how much these smell really good they last longer than the candles they're more potent than the candles so and she swears by these so I got about 20 of them in here the only thing that I can't deal with the fact is that 
you actually have to get their candle warmers for them. Okay, I get it, Bath and Body Works. You're trying to make some money. Okay. Now, like I said, I'm really cheap. I did not get the ones that were not half off. I got these that were half off. Of course, they're seasonal. So this one right here is a pair of ice skates, which I, I like ice skating. I used to ice skate as a kid. So this was $6.25 half off. And then I did get this kind of silverish pumpkin one, which was half off. Um, it's also a night light, which is cool. My thing, you know what, I don't really, I'm not really too concerned about what it looks like, you know, if you're that concerned with the face of it, um, then I guess you can always just purchase the ones that are not on sale, but for me, it doesn't really matter what the face of them look like, as long as I can get the scent out of them, then I'm good with that. Now, the one thing that I do like about Bath & Body Works, I ask the lady, how do you know what these smell like? Like. I really think like they should have like a scratch and sniff on here on these little papers but she said that there are candles so they do set some of the candles in front of them um, which is great and then some of them don't so you just have to take a chance on them but by the names you can just tell which ones you like you can't really open them up because these things are damn tight so I did get the golden desert sands two of those the golden desert sands I'm not really like big on fruity scents three of the turquoise waters those smell so good and I really do think that I'm gonna go back because they were three bucks and you cannot beat that for three dollars. A beach cabana. One of my favorite in the world um, candles by Bath and Body Works is black teak wood. So I got two of those and I'm definitely gonna go back and get some more because I love this candle so much. It smells like men's cologne. Reminds me of my husband, so yes, I definitely need more of those. Black tie, which is very similar to me as mahogany teakwood. Blue ocean waves, which do, um, they smell, this smells good too. Frozen lake, which I'm pretty sure is a Christmas or wintry scent. Bow ties and bourbon is also a really good scent as well. So these two are happiness, and I like the scent of these in the store also. Pergamot by itself, made with lemon essential oil. This one is one of my favorites, especially for the lotions. Now I'm pretty sure that this is gonna smell amazing as an actual um, wallflower, but I lose, I use this lotion like crazy. Uh, and this is one of my favorite lotions. It's the Twisted Peppermint. This one is like my favorite. That lotion is so like potent, it's so vibrant. I love the lotion so much, so I definitely have to get two of those. Eucalyptus Mint, which is also really good. Kind of reminds me of like a very earthly scent. So those were my wallflowers. And I did go to the outlet and I did get some of the candles from the outlet. They were like, okay, so some of the lotion was like 90% off and some of the candles were 90% off too. These were the candles, like I was saying, like were not on sale at like the um, semi-annual sale but they were they were gonna change like the face cover for 90% off the chocolate pistachio at the outlet and I love this scent it smells so good it reminds me of another one it smells like the latte one they start smelling like a little bit after a while so I did get that one for 90% off um, so 225 was these candles first ones I'm showing you are off from the outlet this one right here, Ocean Therapy, which is Ocean Mist and Citrus. Okay, $2.25, cannot beat that. I feel like I always go at the right time for a sale. Sweater Weather was another one, but this one was not 90% off, it was 75% off. Blushing Pink Rose Petal was also 90% off. I think, I think this is like a pretty scent for my room. Eucalyptus Mint was 75% and it smells, this to me smells like very good clean laundry which I love. Um, it just smells really really good. This Eucalyptus Mint, it is jasmine and musk and it's just a refreshing blend of mint and citrus that is softened by delicate notes of jasmine and musk. It just smells really good. If you like clean scents then definitely try Eucalyptus Mint. Another favorite of mine because it reminds me so much of a man. This one was 75% off. This is Brazil Real Coconut and Teak Wood, okay? Now I actually have this one already. Well, I did. Um, I just looked over there. There's nothing left to it. But I do save them because I will peel out the bottoms. This one smells so good. It doesn't smell as strong as a masculine like cologne, but it smells so good and you can smell the coconut in it. 
mahogany teak wood. Now this mahogany teak wood was 90% um, off. This is the white barn one, but if you can tell from the new mahogany teak wood, the labels have changed. So this is the reason why I'm telling you that I got some of them 90% off. Rio Red Guavo is another one that I think this was like a last summer's one. And this one here is tropical guava layered over a flavorful passion fruit. So like I was saying you guys, I don't really like too many fruity scent candles, but this wasn't so fruity, but I do not like a lot of fruity candles. I don't like a lot of candles that smell like, like cookies and stuff. This one right here though was one of my favorites at the time, which is the golden pineapple, golden Maui pineapple. Now this one does smell good and it is very fruity but it smells, it just reminds me of something and I can't really pinpoint it but it just reminds me of something from like my past and I really do like the scent of it so I'm glad that I was able to get that one. This is St. Tropez Shore and this was 75% off unfortunately, I was looking for 90 but it smells very clean. It's a very clean scent and it is pergamot, sun lilies and coconut. Fireside was okay, like it was 90% off. I'm not really sure why I got it. Um, I hope it doesn't smell like fire. It just smells like clove buds, warm, rich embers, and smoked cedar. And I'm not really a fan of anything like that, so we're gonna see how this smells. Um, I love the smell of candles in my home, especially if my home is clean. One of my favorite scents in the whole world, and you guys know, if you guys know me so well, you know that I love lemon. So lemon verbena is another scent, and it's very lemony, and I love lemon anything. Lemon pine saw, lemon cleaning stuff. I will sit lemon in my stove or on my sink just so it can smell my entire house. And then these last two ones from the outlet, which is hot cocoa and cream. This was a classic because I've purchased this candle like five times and it smells so good. It's just fresh steamed milk, mar mini marshmallows, and decadent milk chocolate. Reminds me of the pistachio one also. It's very chocolate latte kind of like what it says smell. Really, really good. And this is like a winter Christmas scent. And this one here, which was 75% um, off. This one is the coconut and eucalyptus, a cotton, excuse me. Plus the candle is so pretty, like the glass of it is gorgeous, okay? What I wish they would have had, cause I've had this candle and I purchased it a million times, is the twisted peppermint one. But I didn't see that one at the outlet and I daggone sure did not see that at the semi-annual sale. The semi-annual sale has something totally different going on. Um, you'll probably find like the twisted peppermint one Hopefully during the summertime because that twisted peppermint candle is bomb ass like for real. So now for the candles from the actual semi-annual sale and not the outlet sale. And in case you guys are wondering about the hair that I'm wearing, I actually did a full detailed tutorial on how I made this hair. Um, it is platinum blonde but um, hopefully you guys can see that it does have um, streaks, uh, highlights of dark blonde in it. So let's get into this. I actually did have two of these but I gave one to my daughter Tati because she loved the scent so much. This is the pumpkin pecan waffles which is called Flippin' Awesome. I like the top of it because it has like this little detail and it smells really good. It's very strong. It's, it kind of smells like a cookie but I still do like the scent. Even though I'm not like into that, it all depends on the actual scent but this one is a really good one. Evergreen one. This is more or less like a Christmas scent. It smells like a Christmas tree, like a real pine tree. I love the smell of pine trees, especially when it's Christmas time. I don't really care about what season it is. I will burn this in the summertime. Like seriously, as long as my house smells good, I'm not like picky like that. This one here I thought was really chic. Thank you. Um, this is the scent of Coastal Breezes Citrus Sea Spray Island Flowers and Sun Drenched Wood. Okay, so these do smell really good. Um, I don't know if it smells like wood because I don't really go around smelling like wood, but it doesn't to me. It just has like a really nice, very light, nice light perfume kind of scent, like a nice lady like perfume scent, if you can get what I'm saying. Beach, sage, and mint. I love like smells of the ocean and just water, but this 
just smells this it will take your breath away like for real this stuff smells amazing it's like a refreshing scent this is like this would smell good in someone whose room is all clean white linen and just very clean and just minimal oh, that would be like that's the scent that I could imagine I have winter which Kind of reminds me of like a lavender scent. Um, and another favorite of mine, even though it's not twisted peppermint, it's damn close to it. And it's just the peppermint made with the essential oils. Put your nose next to this and it will clear your nostrils up. Plus I burned this in my home yesterday and I could smell it all the way from upstairs. I actually do really love this one. It's like very aromatherapeutic to me. I love for my home to smell so good. I actually got four of these uh, because they were $6 at the semi-annual sale. I'm not really sure why these were $6, but when she rang up one and it rang up for $6.75, I was like, hold up and went back and got three more. And it smells Christmas-like. It's the most wonderful time of the year is what it's called. And it smells like fresh balm. It smells like a tree. Cedar wood, fir branches, eucalyptus, and wood. This smells good. It just reminds me of pine. And it smells very Christmas-like. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Current is also a very good one. This reminds me of like a lotion or a body oil or something really lightweight that you would put on a baby. This would be something that I would put in like a baby's room or like a nursery because it's not so overbearing, you know what I'm saying? And then this one here, blueberry brown, blueberry sugar. I can't really describe it, but it smells so familiar. Um, the scent, it reminds me of something. It's a sweet blueberries, brown sugar, and graham cracker cuss. Black cherry Merlot, Merlot is one of my faves love the whole actual look of the bottle. It's that lavender look. I love when Bath & Body Works does candles and they have like really pretty candles. This one is a really good one if you want something kind of like in between light and heavy. The champagne glitter one is very glitzy and glam to me, especially with the top and just the whole decor of it. And I'm not going to say it's the best smelling candles in the world, but it does smell good. Um, it's just sparkling champagne, white pear, and cedar wood. It smells good, but the whole look of it is just like really chic to me so that is what I think drew me to that one and the watermelon lemonade we had this one before they did change the packaging my daughter Nay got this for me a while ago blue agate um, agave I've never tried this one this remind me a lot of clean linen or laundry black tie this is the more masculine one okay this is the one that just smells like a good man a good clean scented man this is it okay this is like one of my favorites next to mahogany teak wood or um, I'll tell you in a minute, um, mahogany teak wood high intensity. This one, I'm not really sure why they call it high intensity, but the glass is dark this time, okay, so they've changed it up. This one is one of my favorite, and let me tell you guys, if I could have found more than one of these, I would have definitely got like a whole bag full because mahogany teak wood is just the one that you have to have especially if you love that that scent that's just like cologne or black teak wood they kind of smell similar to me I got two of these they smell so similar black teak woods I also did get two of these spice coconut milks these also do smell good and these ones right here are the ones that I'm gonna put actually on my dining room table and it goes so well with my dining room so I think that these would be perfect the original is um, also a very masculine scent now pomander I think that's how you say it this one is also really good I went I'm, I meant to go back and grab a second one of these and totally like lost track of time and then the last one is the um, one which is merry and bright merry and bright I did burn it I burnt the hell out of this candle okay um, I got it the day after Christmas and it, I burnt it like in two days so whatever's left in here is going to be taken out. Um, the scent of this is like amazing. If I would have known it was going to smell so damn good, I would have bought two of them. And this is my candle collection. So this is the 90% off bag from the actual outlet. Um, a girl can never have too much lotion. So I did notice that they did have a 
few stragglers at the semi-annual sale. When I say a few stragglers, I mean like maybe one or two. I didn't see a lot of them. So I did get the wrapped in sugar. I actually got this last year and it does smell really good. It reminds me of like, um, just like coconut, but this is like a, a marshmallow musk. I really prefer the creams versus the body lotions because they're more like moisturizing to your skin. I also did get one of my favorites, which is the gingerbread latte. Now remember, all of these are 90% off and it's because the labels have changed on some of them. Tutti Dulce, and this is the Golden Honey Pralin. This one I did have also, and I also did have the shower gel. I was able to find this one time, one bottle at, I think it was in the summertime in the sale, if I'm correct, or last, last winter. The Vanilla Bean Noel, this is also a 90% off product because they have also changed the, the, the face of it. This one was really, really good and I was so happy to find this one because I had like four of them. The Cool Amazon Rain, this one smells amazing. I actually do have the body spray left of this and I bought uh, two of these. The French Lavender and Honey, I'm not really sure if they're going to bring this one back for the new year, like the upcoming season, but I have the body spray of this. My daughter has the body spray and the lotion. She loves this one. Um, this one is a really good scent, so 90% off. I really should have racked up, but I did buy a lot more than what I'm showing you guys because I gave it away. Not gave it away, but I do have daughters, so I did, you know, give them their portion. The only thing that I don't like about the sales or the clearance at the um, outlet is there's not a lot of men products. So so I feel like like when they do have men products, they're not even like a good price. The Sweet Cranberry Rose was a really good hitter um, for me. I did purchase this one too like a year ago and I used it very sparingly. I probably still have like half or three quarters of a bottle left. Um, it's a good scent. Um, it's not like a scent that I would rush out and get, but for 90% off, what do you, you know, you get whatever. And it was like only a few things. There wasn't like a lot of everything. That's why I don't have a lot of stuff. If if I would have just got everything 90% off, then I wouldn't have even went to the semi annual stuff. These I actually do love the most. These are the body scrubs. Now I do have four of these because they did have a lot of the Honolulu Suns. And these original prices were $16.50. So when they, they'll actually take a pen and mark it through like a black pen and mark it through the bottom so they know that you can't return it back to any other store which is cool I'm not I'm not about to return this but 90% off come on now let's just be real we're not really paying much um, then I got the warm vanilla sugar which is just the creamy body wash creamy body washes are good too one of my one of my faves which is the twisted peppermint and this is just the shea sparkle and scrub I love this when I found this for 90% off Girl, I was like, yes, hunty, where's the rest? This was the only one. Because if there was more, I would have bought a whole massive set of them and saved them, okay? You either didn't smell like peppermints all year round. Some more creamy body wash, which is the Sweet Pea. Sweet Pea is like a very popular all the time scent. And the Tahiti Island Dream, which is a white scrub, is a good, a white sand, which is a body scrub. I love the body scrubs. They're not cheap either. The body scrubs are $14.50. That's not cheap to me. So when you're gonna put 90% off, girl, I'm about to get all of them. Now I was able to get the matching shower gel for wrapped in sugar, which is good. I've also had this. I got this for a Christmas gift last year from my son. And lemon pergamon pomegranate cream is also a great shower gel. I like the whole bottle concept. It's just really, really chic and pretty. And then also champagne toast is another very popular one too. So these were all of the 90% off ones that I was able to get. So now we're gonna move on to the Bath & Body Works semi-annual sale. Now for the lotions from the sale. You guys know I love Twisted Peppermint. So, ta-da! I did get three of these, um, and it's so cool because the packaging changed, and on the back you can write to and from, which is so cute. They put from the Christmas to um, the Christmas shop, which I absolutely love. I do like the fact that the packaging is pink. You guys know I love pink. This this one here is new to me because, like I said, I don't really go in Bath and Body Works like that, but this one really smells good. This is the rose cream, and I did like the scent of it. They had the body sprays, but you know what? I have body enough body sprays by them 
and they don't last as long so I don't really like to get the body sprays because then it starts smelling like you know like rubbing alcohol granted I might go back and get a couple of more but I damn sure I'm gonna go back and get some of those wallflowers and I also did get two of the white scented ones now this one I do like um, but when I first got it it was 50% off this is the um, electric blue sky I really did think that this was for a man um, and I still think it is, but either way, we'll find out. And this one here is the Marshmallow Magic. Like, this one looks like it's for a man, and this one looks like it's for a woman. I don't know. So I'll have to tell you guys. Um, but they're both body creams, and they're both cute packagings. And also, okay, so this is the Coconut Mint Drop, and these are the lotions. These smell good, okay? I have never smelled these ones before in any collection, so I'm thinking that this is new. What they remind me of a little bit, just like some plain regular lotion like you would get at the store, like a lotion that doesn't really have much in it. And now for the body creams and the souffles, I think this is what it's called. So here goes the vanilla bean Noel. This is what the packaging looks like now if you get the actual bottle. It's this color and this is the body soft body butter, super soft body butter. For me, I don't think it smells the same as the lotion. Maybe I'm bugging, but... It's thicker and I like stuff like this, especially when you have dry feet. Now keep in mind, when I use the Bath & Body Works lotions, first before I even put this on my body, I put on cocoa butter because to me, it doesn't like really, really like nourish your, your skin like that moisturizes. It starts to drop after a while. The Body Souffle, and this is the Marshmallow Body Souffle Sunshine Mimosa. The packaging is so pretty, so darling on it. And it was 1950, like, I'm sorry, but I'm not about to pay you $19.50 for this. The pink jasmine and strawberry one. The coconut mint drop and the body cream. I'm trying to figure out what's the difference between body cream and souffle. Like, they both look the same if you ask me. I got two of those. I also got a mini one. This is um, just to carry along because you never know. You could be somewhere and have some dry hands. And I also did get It's the Bomb Marshmallow Magic. This is the stuff that I like to rub on my feet. Now, I was looking for more of these because last year they had like a nice assortment of them. You know what I mean? Of like the raspberry ones. And I just got a bunch of them. And I only would use them to rub on my feet because they would moisturize my cream. Like whipped Shimmer Body Cream with Shea Butter. Really nice. It smells good. Um, this is the Vanilla Bean Noel. And it's a very nice, thick cream, and it smells so good. Mm. This does smell good, though. It just smells better than the body cream, actually. You do see a little bit of sparkly, but it's very thick, and it feels really good. This is the Bath & Body Works Glow On Body Oil Champagne Toast. Let me tell you, this stuff smells so good, honey. So freaking good. Put this on yourself. You will have, like, some oiled-up skin. Okay, and you will see little iridescence of gold. Not a lot, but just a little bit of shimmer. Mmm, it smells so good. I'm about to go back and get some more of this. This is the Twisted Peppermint 2-in-1 Bubble Bath and Body Wash. I have never been able to find, I wasn't able to find any body wash by Twisted Peppermint but this. So, this is what I got. Um, these are new collections to me. I've never seen these, but this one here, the ginger, so good. These smell so good. I think, like, for me, I think that anybody could use these. Like, these are both men and women scents, and it just kind of looks universal, but the packaging, well, to me, the packaging looks more masculine, if anything. I think, like, the, pa the packaging looks a lot more na ma uh, masculine. It's a natural ginger essential oil. It's a body wash um, with olive oil, but I think, like, the packaging, it's a little bit more masculine. So I got two of those, and I got one of this one here which is the mint leaf this one smells hell of a good also I'm not really sure why I didn't get two of these but I'll definitely go back I didn't I didn't really want to go back but I really do want to go get another one of these if you guys see this one definitely get this it's so pretty and it's a gold color that's the actual liquid inside that's gold I uh, got one of these creamy body scrubs um, which is the vanilla bean Noel I did get the Tutti Dolce, the Tutti Dolce Golden Honey Prime Line Shower Gel. Like I said, they didn't, I was so surprised to see those, these here because I got like the lotion at one place and then the shower gel, but they didn't have like a lot of these. Um, I found this one with like the plastic seal um, covering it and it was the only one and I think this lady was about to buy it. Um, 
and then I just grabbed it because I already had this before and I know it smells good plus I still have the lotion um, I have like several of these lotions so I can see your side eye me I don't really care about the side eye thing not really my Here, thing. Uh, white mocha kiss I've never seen that this, um, this one before I never knew they had a green one I didn't even smell it I just grabbed it and just put it in my bag and that was it and it does smell actually really good shower gel the coconut mint dry shower gel for some reason I really want to think that this is the Noel one um this is the vanilla bean Noel and like I said they changed the packaging it's still really cute um but I think I like the more crispest light look full side pop with the flamingos on it wasn't a lot of these um, and the ones that were there were kind of messy and I was able to get one that was kind of like a little bit somewhat clean. I like the packaging with the flamingos on it and I do like the shape of the bottles. I like the fact that they change it up. Winter candy apple. Why did I think that this one was the mint one the whole time when I was when I put it in my bag? Then when I got it to the register I was like oh. oh. So yeah. So you guys I hope you liked my haul. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I didn't bore you. So now it's time for me to go put these things away. I'm definitely going to go put my candles somewhere else. Normally I store them in my room, but I have no room anymore for them. So I'm just going to put them downstairs and hope that none of my kids touch my stuff. So on that note, I love you guys. Stay diva and divalicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs this video up. And I will see you guys on a soon-to-come video. I will see you guys on the other side.